One of the most important things to learn about any new program is how the file structure is saved when you end up clicking on File Save As. So in this tutorial we're going to learn how to create a new project and end up organizing our folder correctly. That way we don't lose any data. So we're going to start off on the Mac desktop and we're going to go up to File and we're going to go to the New Folder. By doing so you'll end up getting Untitled Folder over here. I'm just going to name this as a default name for now. I'm just going to go with Edge Project. Go with whatever your project is symbolizing though. After that, I'm going to go down to my dock and I'm going to click on Edge Animate icon. And with the splash screen available, I'm going to click on Create New. By doing so, I'm just going to ignore the overall user interface for now. And we're just going to go to File and we're going to go to Save As. By doing so, you'll get the Save As up here. You're going to also name this something like Edge Project or whatever your project is called. Make sure you save it to the desktop inside your Edge Project folder. After doing so, click Save. You'll notice that when I clicked on Save, that my HTML file right here changed to what I just named it to. And also, my project file changed to that exact same name. So now we're going to hide the program. And we're going to go inside of our Edge Project folder just to take a look at what has been created. When you look inside here, you have three different JavaScripts. The first one is edge project underscore edge, which is something that helps with the framework of the overall program. The next two are edge project edge actions and edge preload. These are two JavaScripts working in the background to load up several different items for your overall user interface and project. This one here with the Edge Animate logo called Edge Project is what you're going to double click on every time you want to open up your project and start working on the timeline and creating new features inside your project. This one here is called Edge Project.html. This is basically what you see on the stage and what is being saved to the stage throughout your project. And the last one is called Edge Includes, which only has two files in it. The first one is called Edge 300 min.js for JavaScript. This is basically the framework of the overall application. And last but not least, you have scripting here called jQuery, and it's a JavaScript as well. But this gives you options for different types of coding and structure. So with that being said, let's move on to actually working on our project.